And 20 years ago, if you asked, you know, what does a dean do or what does a university president do, you would get a very, very different description of what they do today. And so today that person has to have all the academic standards and respect that we'd always want in a person leading an academic institution. But at the same time, they have to be, have a lot of business acumen, political savvy, uh, they have to be a wonderful communicator, expositor, and they have to be able to raise money you know, through development work. Uh, and so those kind of skills, trying to think about you know, how do you, uh, tr you know, educate the next layer of leadership. Universities are terrible, terrible at educating anyone to take on these positions. Usually you're just thrown into the position, figure out how to do it. That worked when that position didn't have to do much more than make sure that the faculty were teaching the right courses and the students were showing up at the right place at the right time. But now that job is much, much more intense, much more complex. And the biggest worry is where is that next generation of leadership going to come from? Faculty members have a very good life. They get paid to do the work they love. They teach the students they love. And how do you then transition someone who has a very nice position into this position of leadership that's fraught with a lot of things that these faculty members have never confronted before? And it's all confounded by that external environment I just described a few minutes ago, all of these challenges that are out there. And so I think that AACSB is now going to look to fulfill a very important role in the future, which is by talking to folks who might be interested in academic leadership, by bringing them in to prospective leaders' conferences. And they've done a bit of this in the past. I don't want to say they haven't done it. But now they have to talk about it in a new model. Here's what you will be facing. Here are the kinds of skills you need. And let us help you understand how to do this into the future. Let us help you uh, bring the next generation of universities forward. So I think that's the critical issue is where is that next generation of leadership coming from and how are we going to help get them prepared to take on the challenges they're going to confront.